So with your permission, this week I would like to combine the videos for both watercolor and drawing and painting. Maybe we'll call this drawing and painting and watercolor. Wow. Drawing and singing. No. How is everyone? Today I thought we would do a negative drawing. And what I mean by that is we're going to draw the negative space surrounding our object of choice and then the shadows that comprise the interior of the form. So, not exclusively a negative drawing because technically we will be drawing the shadows that are on the positive space, but I suppose just for the sake of the assignment title on the video, we'll call this a negative drawing or a negative space drawing. So, hopefully the experience will be extremely positive. Come around here, please. Now, if I learned anything from the videos last week, it's that I should not bite off more than I can chew in the demos. So for today's demo, I'm going to select a single object to, to draw. Uh, however, you are welcome to continue to work in that odd uh, method of setting up your still lifes using one object, three objects, five objects, because things are more interesting visually in odd numbers. So the object that I'm going to draw today is Darkwing Duck. Remember Darkwing Duck? I got, I got this at Stewart's. Remember, Stewart's is a department store. Remember Stewart's? They closed in 1991, 92. Yeah, all right, fine. Okay, so I'm actually going to set my still life up on a black shirt. You could use any kind of black fabric. The reason for doing this is, again, I wanna be attentive to the negative space, which means I'm going to draw, I'm gonna begin this process by drawing the space around the object. So I just wanna surround him with black. Okay, so I've tried to set this up so that you can view both the figure and the, and the drawing at the same time. Um, so let's begin, uh, we're going to we're going to draw our negative space first. I'm holding the, the pencil kind of, uh, I don't know, like a toothbrush, I suppose. I'm just going to draw the negative space that I see first. Almost like a contour drawing with the side of my pencil. Now, if you make a mistake, this foot is much too wide. If you make a mistake, you could just kind of go back and pull, uh, pull the drawing in a little bit. Because as I mentioned, this is a negative space drawing, so very soon that is all going to be shaded in anyhow. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is shade in the negative space. I'm not too concerned about staying, keeping my lines uniform in terms of their direction. You'll see why in a moment. It's almost like working on a coloring book when you're little. Just having a grand old time outside of the lines. Literally, we're coloring outside of the lines. And even the silhouette of the, the object, the figure here, it's not, a, um, it's not precise, it's a contour drawing essentially that you're doing with the side of your pencil. So there's, with that uh, fluctuation in the shape, kind of lack of accuracy, you might find more accuracy in that it's an innocent take on the, uh, on the form. Hopefully that gives it it's some charm. Okay, so here I've, uh, here I've established my outer, outer boundary and uh, activated my negative space. Uh, you could leave it like that if you'd like, um, or you could do what I'm about to do here, uh, which is to smooth out the, the graphite. If you have a blending tool at home, like one of those stumps, you're welcome to use that for this process. If you don't have anything like that, uh, I'm going to do this with a paper towel. You could use a napkin as well. Kleenex is probably gonna tear up in your fingers, but uh, so what you do is you just roll up the end of the, roll up the end of the paper towel, and then start dragging it over your negative space. And what this is doing is smoothing out all of your pencil pencil marks so that it doesn't necessarily matter that they were moving in different directions before. If you watched any of last week's demos, you could see the one for drawing and painting. Uh, the subtractive drawing, we used this method. So appropriately in combining both the watercolor class and the drawing and painting class for this demo, uh, I'm also merging your your drawing techniques into one image. Scrooge! 
Okay, so now our negative space is, is activated and our pencil marks are smoothed out and mostly uniform. You can still see them a little bit, um, but that's okay. The next thing we want to do is to start blocking out the main shadows that we see on the interior of the form. So we're going to shift towards positive space for this portion of the drawing. Okay, so switching to the, uh, the, the positive space on the figure, I'm now going to begin to block out the shapes that I see uh, that are, which are darkest in terms of positive space. Purple is actually the darkest color on the on the spectrum. So that, if you knew that, that might have given you the temptation to say, "Well, I've got to darken the entire the entire coat." We're just looking for the extremes right now. So we want to capture some subtlety, and you'd actually also be surprised how much uh, how much dark ends up on the white as well, which we will come to. So I haven't pre-drawn anything here, and. I'm learning a lot about the form just by paying attention to the negative, negative space. So the next thing I'm going to do is return to my paper towel and begin to smooth out, um, smooth out these darks, but also I'm going to end up dragging the graphite that is on the paper towel onto some other areas to create more subtlety. I'm trying to preserve some of my whites as highlight, but Ultimately, I'm going to go back in with both the graphite and the eraser to capture a little bit more subtlety. All right, so at this point, I've completed the paper towel phase, and I'm going to go back in with the graphite, boost some of my shadows, but also go in with the eraser to reclaim some of my highlights. I feel like much, much like you can't ruin an acrylic painting, you can't really ruin a subtractive drawing, which is what this is on the brink of becoming. All right, so there you go. So this is a contour drawing that in some fashion became a subtractive drawing, uh, but essentially it's accomplished by focusing in on the negative space and holding your pencil in a much different fashion, almost as if you're drawing with a stick. By doing that, you relinquish a lot of sense of control and uh, also by focusing in on the negative space, then maybe you're, you're forced to trust your observations more than versus your idea of what you think the object in front of you actually looks like. All right, so that's it for this week. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions via email or if you have any suggestions for other topics that you'd like to see me cover. As always, please practice social distancing, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and keep yourself and your loved ones safe. See you soon.